What's up guys? Chief here with another video where we learn how to play StarCraft 2. Today we're going to talk about Zerg versus Protoss? Yeah, let's talk about Zerg versus Protoss. In my last video we talked about Zerg versus Zerg and just some little tips and information about what you could take away from that matchup and maybe use to improve your gameplay. So today we're going to talk about Zerg versus Protoss in much of the same way. We're just going to go over some very general things and kind of goals that you want to have for this matchup to be successful. So let's get into the game. And first, before we do that, guys, I know I've had a couple days off, been really busy. This actually takes a lot more time than I originally thought to make a video every day. So we're going to do our best to make a video every day, guys. But if you don't see me for a couple days, I'm sorry about that. I'll be around. I'll be around. I promise. I promise, guys. You're just going to have to be patient with me, okay? All right, all right, all right. Here we go. What are we talking about in Zerg versus Protoss? Here we are in our lovely little red spawn here, and we're in the close position to our blue Protoss. Now, what are we concerned about in Zerg versus Protoss? I know a lot of people say things like, it's important to go for your pool first because it's safer. Now, at this point in the game, it's very, very early, right? This is a game from a very long time ago, actually. It was one of the only semi-decent Zerg vs. Protoss games I could find that actually encompassed all I want to talk about. So, here we see his probe. And we're going, okay. What are we concerned about this probe doing right now? At two minutes into the game. We're concerned about him blocking our expansion which we want to take because we're Zerg and we're freaking awesome and we love hatcheries. He's going to block our expansion or he's going to cannon rush us, right? That's another thing. That's two reduces. Cannon rushes suck, but they're very easy to deal with. I'll show you how. Or two gate proxy. Pretty much what we're concerned about right now, right? So we're going to look at it from that perspective. So, whoop, back into the game. And you can see... I'm trying to take this hatch here, and he's like, oh, no, we don't want you to do that. Oh, God, I'm going to block you, yeah, because I'm Protoss, and I'm super awesome, yeah. And it's really annoying sometimes. Um, they can actually slow you down. If you see him doing this, just go for a pool, which is what I did. Like, I wanted to take the expansion, but I'm just like, oh, God, he's he's being a pain. Sometimes I'll throw a pylon uh, down, which is even worse, because then you have to pull, like, four drones or three drones to kill it. And then they just cancel it anyway. But generally, just try to uh, scare them away. Get your pool first if you need to, and then take this base. Now, I didn't bother really to scout this guy yet, and that was a mistake on my part. But what I do see, coming into Chief Vision here, what I do see here is a forge with my Overlord. So, because it's in this position, note his main base is back here. I know that he's probably forge expanding, right? That's a very far out forge at his natural. The only reason he'd put his forge not back here in his main would be because he wants to take this base. We can deduce that pretty quickly, right? So what we're concerned about now is, of course, the cannon rush. Because he has this forge, he has the ability to build cannons. That is pretty damn scary. Pretty damn scary if you don't scout it. Can be very annoying. And look, there he does indeed have the uh, the Nexus. So we're concerned not a whole lot with an aggressive gateway style push. Like a, a four gate or a three gate robo timing attack. A one base kind of push. We're not concerned about that. We know he's taking a base. He's going to be expanding, getting that base saturated for the time being. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Okay. So what's our response to this? As a Zerg you generally want to try to be one base ahead of the other two races. So if they're on two, you want to be on three. So a very simple response to a Protoss that goes for a quick expansion is to go ahead and take a third right away. And I think, I mean, I don't know how fast I take it. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Droney. Droney. Dun, 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 expansion. Okay, so we've we've established a third base just shy of four minutes. That's a pretty fast third. It's important to remember that you don't necessarily need to go all drones to saturate these three bases right away, 
but you have established the third here. And it's very important to remember that as Zerg, not only are your hatcheries your, your point of mining, but they're also your production structures, right? So it's kind of a very, very important thing to make sure you have enough hatcheries. Otherwise, you'll not match your production of your enemy, okay? Very simple. So we'll kind of get a little bit further in. He's doing a little bit of shenanigans. I'm kind of just... I want to make sure he doesn't get cannons down. If I did see cannons, say he had a, a pylon I missed here. This is a common thing. And they'll put like two two cannons here just to slow you down. Not necessarily actually a cannon rush, right? They're not necessarily cannon rushing you, but they are being damn annoying just because Protoss love to do that. What my response would be, just build three spines. One, two, three. The idea is you build the spines out of range of the cannons, you can let them shoot the piss out of your hatchery, it doesn't matter, it's not going to kill it, as long as there's not like 10 cannons. You're going to have time to build those spines out of range, and then you uproot them and park them right where they're in range of the cannons. That's it. Very, very easy. You generally, if they have two cannons, you probably could get away with two spines, but I would do three. Um, and what you can actually do is the AI of the cannons will target your spines, when they're rooted and attacking, but if you just uproot with R, uh, one of your spines, the cannon will actually stop shooting it. Phone call! Ugh. We don't need to answer that right now. So, the top thing you want to do is build those spines, and then make sure that you're able to uh, block the advance of the cannons with your creep, or just keep an eye on it. Very easy to deal with a cannon rush at this point cannon rush right cannon uh cannon slow wish i had a better way to say that here we are so let's just breeze through a little bit all right coming five minutes into the game five minutes just making some drones some spores now this is just kind of a blanket thing that i like to do again my scouting in this game is pretty damn bad pretty bad right i haven't even scouted his main but if we look at everyone vision kind of like i was mentioning earlier he's just getting a shit ton of probes and wanting to build that nice strong two base economy as protoss right that's what he's doing right now it's still pretty early this five minutes and 30 for reference is roughly when a four gate would hit four gates generally hit right about six minutes in the game when that attack that front warp in is coming towards you so even if he was one basing, right now is a pretty damn fast attack from Protoss. And that's something that it's kind of important to know. I don't like to to be one of those people that gives you a list of like timings. Like, okay, five minutes and 30 seconds, see, this could happen. Six minutes, this could happen. Seven minutes, this could happen. I don't really like that, but that's pretty important to remember, guys. Right about six minutes, a well-executed foregate can be attacking you and killing the shit out of your Zerg stuff, right? So, on two bases, we're feeling very safe right now. Whoop! Back in the game. And these spores are simply to help with the kind of... I'm going to call it mid-game cheese, because I don't know what else to call it, right? But oracles, things like oracles, things like DTs, annoying things that can kind of just, like, kill you if you don't prepare for them properly as Zerg. So, if a DT... Um, if he had a proxy, you know, uh, Dark Shrine up here or something, they actually kind of do that, or a proxy Stargate, like here. It's kind of popular for, for that to happen nowadays, and he got an Oracle in here, two Oracles. I mean, Queens, you need, it's not going to work. You need Spores to help defend against those Oracles. Those melt drones so damn fast, so you want, the, I, I personally get the Spore just every game because... The, the games I don't get it, I lose, and it pisses me off. God, losing to Oracle is one of the worst things ever, right? Okay, so what are we doing at this point? We've established that it's like six to seven minutes in. We're tr generally trying to drone up. We're trying to saturate our main, saturate our expansions. I Ish. We're not focusing heavily on anything. One thing to note, my creep spread is non-existent. Non-existent. That's something that we should also try to do. Trying to do. We should be trying to do. 
I have problems today, guys. I don't think I got enough sleep. Or I haven't had enough coffee. I can't talk right. It's a problem. We're gonna we're gonna force we're just gonna plow right through it, alright? We're gonna plow through it, guys. So creep spread for scouting. And what are we doing? Again, just like in Zerg vs Zerg, we're keeping an eye on his third base. This is his natural point of expansion, right? His third base. And we do not want the Protoss to get that base. So that's what we're kind of concerned about. We're getting some things like um, working towards maybe Roach Hydra, maybe working towards Muta, getting Speedlings out just to kind of have some map presence. Now, I think, what's going on in here? Let's kind of look at this. This doesn't usually happen. Okay, there's an overcharge. We ended up sneaking a bunch of Lings in here. Oh, wow. GG. No, but that, <laughs> that doesn't usually happen, right? Okay, that was pretty good. But what what I actually want to take away from that little information, say say it wasn't a complete slaughter in the mineral lines, but we got some Zerglings in here to see units, to see things in his base. We see Twilight, we see a Robo facility, and we see no Stargate. Okay? Say we would just throw, flown an overlord through here instead of uh, got lucky with some links. Because that's very kind of... You don't want to rely on something like that happening. That was a very rare thing. Okay. We saw that he also has a robotics base. So what do we know? He's going Colossi, right? He's going Colossi. Very important thing to know. He's going Colossi. Now the good response to that would be... To s sort of make your way towards Vipers if you're going Roach Hydra. Lings, what do we know about Lings? Very good against Stalkers. Really bad against Zealots. So, keep an eye on your Protoss' army. If he's moving for a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Protoss will do that. They'll go really heavy Stalkers because they like Stalkers. Stalkers are sweet, right? And you can just offset that with a ton of Lings. They'll absorb all the Stalker shots. If they don't have many Zealots, just make a crap ton of Lings. It'll work really well for you. Um, if they're making a bunch of zealots, kind of forego the lings more. You maybe want to make a little a force that's similar to this size, just to kind of flank and use to, to target the stalkers manually. But for the most part, maybe focus on Roach Hydra to deal with the uh, the zealots better. Roach Hydras, Hydras are extremely high DPS. That'll be nice for you there. Um, other than that, guys, that's really what I want to talk about for Protoss. The only other thing that mm, I guess we could kind of talk about scouting. We're already at 13 minutes. I mean I wanted to kind of talk about the early game and just avoiding that cheese because honestly that's the worst way that's 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 kind of what's gonna kill you really fast other than just having poor unit composition or maybe just not making enough units fast enough to deal with a gateway push, things like that. But for the most part, you're worried about the oracles, the DTs, the, the things like proxy gates in the beginning. And if you can live through that point of the game, you're pretty much okay. You can just go into standard Zergy things, right? Spread your creep, make some units, make some bases, go kill the shit out of them. Remember to deny their third. Deny their third. So I think I'm just going to breeze through the rest of this and I think what he does he actually tries to take his third sometime okay he killed that overlord so I'm like all right what the hell's up okay there he goes let's see when I actually I don't know if I actually even see it oh it looks like I just moved out I kind of assumed because he killed this overlord here that he was doing that because he wanted to take this third right so you want to deny the third here we are we moved out Again, a lot of stalkers. Zerglings are going to do really well. Doing things like A-clicking these and moving a small group of roaches and microing those. It's a very nice thing to do. Here we are again. And we end up denying this third, it looks like. He cancels it. Great. Great. We're fully saturated on three bases. He's on two. It's like 15 minutes in. We know that at home. His mineral lines are getting a little thin, and he needs to take that third base. He absolutely has to, or he will lose. Oh, look, creep spread. Yes, here it goes. Creep spread. That is so slow. 
two creep tumors, guys. Do not be like this guy. Do not be like this guy. Spread your creep. It's important. Clickety clack. That's what I want to talk about today, guys. Just some general stuff with Zerg versus Protoss. Remember to uh, consider a lot of Protoss just go for that one base gateway composition or a two base Colossi, uh, two base Stargate play, a lot of Forge expansions with a little bit of cannon harassment. So just try to live through the bullshit phase of Zerg versus Protoss. That's what I would try to do. And then scout them and take the game from there pretty simple um remember to send your scout drone at a minute 30 so if you see something you get in his base you're in his base and you see nothing no pylons you're like well he's afk right no he's proxying you check your base because there's a proxy there's some pylons there's some gateways and there's going to be some zealots coming at you right be careful of that if you get in there and you see a forge already done in his base, he's cannon rushing you. Don't lose to that. You don't want to lose to cannon rushes. You're going to be very sad. Don't do it. So keep an eye out for those things. We're at about 16 minutes, guys. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any comments, criticisms, suggestions for other videos, drop them below. I'm going to try to come up with a new noise every time I do that. When I do that, it kind of works. Yeah. Yeah, it's working out. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye now.